Is this the best steak restaurant in Dublin? I'm no steak expert, but everyone's been raving about it, so let's steak it out. Should we really go to a side? No door there. <laughs> So first thoughts, we came in, wait in the bar area, which is kind of where we are now. And then I presume we go into the restaurant area in the back. First impression, it's very, very impressive. It looks like they've pumped about 10 billion quid into the, the sort of revamp. And fun fact, it's, it's kind of full circle me being here, because this used to be Abercrombie and Fitch. And you better believe your boy used to work in Abercrombie and Fitch. Wasn't quite the topless model at the front. Too much of a rig on me for that. I could tell you a million stories about working in Abercrombie. My God, what a weird place that was. So we've been moving into the restaurant side of it. It is a splendid looking spot, to be fair. Abercrombie was so dark you couldn't even see a thing. So the, the fit out they've done is unbelievable. Big reason why I'm coming here is shout out to a girl on Instagram slash TikTok, Cassie Stokes. She, she does these interviews with kind of chefs and uh, publicans around Dublin. Best steak in Dublin. Hawksmoor. I, I was there last week for my first time and it lived up to all the hype. It's amazing. A lot of them have been saying this is their favorite. This already, it's only brand new, is their favorite spot to eat in Dublin. So that's huge. You're talking like 40 euro steaks, kind of similar here. Oysters are like three for kind of nine, 10 quid. I'm not into oysters, but I'll probably get three of them because you kind of went in Rome. So we got three flaggy shore oysters. I think they have like a scotch bonnet, spicy option. No thanks, basic bitch alert. Then I got myself a ribeye, 350 gram. I don't know what ounce that is. I'll put it on the screen. Not a mathematician. Yeah, thanks a minute. Right, first course, lads. Flaggy Shore oysters. Yeah, I think they, they just give you the, the Tabasco with it. I'm gonna try one, like a little basic B. I'm obviously gonna put lemon on it, on ice. I mean, very well presented. I pre presume they have been shucked already. I know my terminology. I'm actually a proper fancy pants, bit of lemon. I don't know why I need the fork if it's already been shucked. Hashtag oyster guru, but I'll hold the fork in my hand anyway. I don't know, it's, I think it's loose. Should I be doing that? You'll be kicked out. Nice and cold. Bottoms up. That is very tasty, to be fair. Not as like salty as oysters I've had before. Usually you just taste like, that's literally ocean water. Like when you go in the ocean, you just go Hum. I could be converted, lads. Genuinely good. I'm gonna put some, I don't think I need Tabasco. I'm gonna put some Tabasco in the next one. Then he said, you dip it in this. How am I supposed to dip an oyster in that? It's just gonna fall in. Or do I take it off the fork? No, that's that's too much. Get the fuck out of this. Feels like I'm a hot ones. Alright, that's enough. This one's a bit bigger. That's what she said. Let's launch it. Oh. I definitely wouldn't last on hot ones. <laughs> I'm a basic bitch for a reason. Third one. Sorry, cameraman Dave. I can't afford to give you an oyster. Dave, do you reckon dip it in means Take it out with a fork. It, that must be the only option, yeah? No? How do I gonna dip it then? Dip the shell, I don't eat the shell. Oh no, I know what you do. I know what you do, because I'm smart. Spoon it in. I believe this is like, maybe like scallions and shit. I honestly don't think it needs anything. Kinda sounds like someone who would eat it, like a margarita pizza. Doesn't need anything. Slant you, bottoms up. That kind of makes it a bit gross. Without any of that side stuff, absolutely beautiful, just with a bit of lemon. Can't believe I'm saying it, but that was exquisite. Okay, good start. Sorry you didn't get one, lad. Brilliant. Um, is there, sorry, <clears throat> is there, I was trying to ask him, what's the story here? Like, fucking pepper sauce or something, no? Ketchup, is that not like, illegal? And then I was kind of, I kind of was like, uh, 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 I couldn't get the words out and he just walked off. Not his fault. Right, what do I do? Do I just eat the steak? It looks so bare, does it not? Let's try the bone marrow. That's something I'll probably never say again in my life. Not really working. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Right, fucking nailed it, lads. Salty as shit. It's not going to be good for my blood pressure. I think it just tastes like mushed up mushrooms or something. Actually pretty tasty. 
Looks pretty medium rare to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I get it now. The char on the outside is scandalously good. Get a little close up of how it's cooked there. This is juicy, very well cooked. Not that I have a clue what I'm talking about. I actually don't even think I need a pepper sauce. Send it back. Yeah, thank you. I ordered a few, so yeah. it's gonna be the pepper corn. It's actually so good, I mightn't even need it, but Probably thank you so much. Sauce, yeah. Uh, Bomaro gravy. Okay. And I will have a blue cheese hollandaise. Okay, amazing, thank you. Bone marrow gravy. You're not the takeaway now, lads. Bone marrow here, bone marrow there. Can't wait for the comments on this video. What the hell way are you eating that steak? Oh, marrow gravy, okay. Like the oyster salad, I think it's better. Just by itself, because it's so good by itself. Try a bit of pepper sauce. Just dip it into the pepper sauce, I'm all over the shop. Doink. That's a good shot, Dave. It's just, it's actually just taken away from the steak. And I mean that in a good way. The steak is unbelievable by itself. No wonder they didn't offer me a sauce. My bad. Let's get a couple of chips going. Seems like a bit of a five-year-old thing to do, get chips with it. Maybe should have gotten mash or something. Touching them with his hands, dirty bastard. Nah, this steak is absolutely outrageous. It's 40 quid, lads. Doesn't even look like, yeah, I suppose it is medium rare. It's not, I'm someone who definitely wouldn't want it rare. And it's it's not like super bloody or anything, so go on the lads. Oh, chips are boiling. Last thing to do is try it with a bone marrow, as you do. This stuff looks crazy. No sauce needed. Oh my God. Again, I, I want to reiterate, I've probably only tasted about five steaks in Dublin, but I don't know how you're going to get a better one than that. Taste that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright lads, we are done. No desserts being had here. Bill wise, I'm gonna put that on the screen now. I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna be. We weren't really eating fancy for two, so I probably won't be as much as you might think. Overall, I suppose the biggest thing when we walked in the door we said is this the best steak restaurant in Dublin? I think you would struggle to find a better steak. The sides were interesting, the bone marrow I wasn't really crazy about it. I didn't really know what to put it with. Chips were lovely. Actually the third sauce that she brought out that I didn't try on camera, creamy thing, that was a nice sauce. Didn't, don't think I'd ever be saying that before but like you didn't need sauce with it. So that's how good the steak was. Cooked to perfection. 40 euro for that steak, so expensive. I mean, yeah, we got what we came here for. Very nice place. It's the type of place, like, you wouldn't want to come here with too many uh, rowdy fellas. It is also quite casual as well. It's the type of place you'd bring, you're going out with a girl a few months, you're trying to impress her parents, bring them here. Foot the bill, it's gonna cost you a good bit, it's gonna cost you not an arm and a leg, it might cost you an arm, but you'll save your leg. Overall, just a really, really nice meal. Any steak puns, any steak puns. Let's stake our time drinking this lovely coffee. See you in the next video. Let me know where else around Dublin or around the freaking world I should go to eat grub. What a life. See you in the next one. Pet peeve when they give you the cubes because I only want about a quarter of that. And now it's all in there. Too sugary. <laughs>